Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this video, I want to show you 10 plugins that I think every server owner or admin should look at. So either these tools will help you monitor in-game or will help you set up and configure your server. You could say that this is my top 10 recommended admin plugins, but the plugins that I'm showing are not really in any particular order because it really depends on what kind of server you're running and what you're trying to achieve. I'm quickly going to go over the plugins, where you can get them and what they do. If you would like us to go more in depth into a certain plugin, leave a comment down below. And if you thought this was helpful in any way, please leave a like and subscribe and also hit the bell. So you are the first one to know when we put out a new video. Let's dive into plugin number one. Even though the plugins are in no particular order, it only makes sense to start out with my favorite plugin, the permissions manager. This plugin allows you to configure the permissions for your groups for all other plugins that use the permission system. Those permissions and groups are one of the biggest things you're constantly are going to be messing with. There will be a video link in the description showing you how to use the permission manager to configure your Rust server with a VIP kit. So in game, we can do slash perms. This will give us a nice user interface showing us all groups and all players. We can then just go into those groups and it will display all the plugins that are using the permission system, which is 9 out of 10 plugins. Then we can allow those permissions to a certain group instead of having to fill in the comments one by one, saving you a lot of time and making things a lot easier and quicker to do. Next plugin is no green. I'm admin on my server. If I type I have a green name, so everybody in the server will know that I'm admin. And if I try again, you can see now once the plugin is loaded, that I now have a normal blue name and people will not by default know that I'm an admin, saving you a lot of questions and hassles and stuff like that, just making things a little bit more covert, which is nice. Next plugin is kind of in the same category. It's the no gift notices. Normally when you spawn in items, it will show up in the chat. So if I click on F1, go to items at the top and start spawning in stuff, you will see that this message here on the left is actually public. So everybody on the server can see that an admin or the server is spawning in stuff and even what player is getting it. If you're doing this on a public server, there's a big chance that the whole server will go crazy. And sometimes there are legit reasons. For example, if you have a modded server and you're setting up events and you need to fill up boxes or you need to do a price or whatever you need to do, there are legit reasons to turn this off. The plugin is now loaded. So let's spawn in some snowball guns. As you can see, I still get them in my inventory, but the message in the public chat doesn't show up. The message you saw on the right is just for me and nobody else can see that. Next up is Vanish. Also, very self-explanatory, it allows you to become invisible, allowing you to spectate people flying around without, once again, raising any questions, why are you flying around, etc. In chat, we can do slash vanish, and it says that I do not have permission to do that. So let's go back to the permissions manager. <laughs> once again, slash vanish, and now we are invisible. There's of course the message in the chat, which other people cannot see, and there's the little icon on the bottom left, you can change that icon as well if you want to in the configuration file. Of course, you have the spectate option in game, but sometimes you just want to fly around. It gives you a lot more freedom to look around to see what is going on. And it also allows you to use certain plugins. For example, the admin hammer, which is also one of the plugins that I will be touching on in this video. If you're spectating someone from the spectate feature in game, you cannot use those plugins. So the vanish plugin is very powerful. Next up, we have the admin radar. This allows admins to have a radar to help detect cheaters and other entities. So we can do slash radar. If I want to click on any of the buttons in the bottom right, if I try to move my mouse there, of course, I will just start looking around. So I can open up my inventory to unlock my mouse and then I can click on stuff. And as you can see, this will show where everything is and this will also show players. So if you're in Vanish and you're looking around to see where people are or what is going on, this will very quickly show you exactly where stuff is, how far away it is, etc. This can get a little bit laggy depending on what kind of settings you use. If I do slash radar 5, it says ESP, which is basically the radar, has been activated with a 5 second refresh. Only every 5 seconds this will refresh the information, making it a little bit less taxing on the server. Radar 1 and turn everything on. You can see that once I'm flying around, things update every 1 second. And this could get a lot more taxing on your server if you have a lot of things going on. And also if you have multiple admins using this tool and seeing what's going on. This doesn't lag your server by default. Just really, if you're going to use this, keep in mind what settings or what refresh rates you are using and keep an eye out on the performance. But if you use it well, it can be super helpful and really easy to find whatever you're looking for. 
Next up is the player administration. We can do slash p admin for player admin. Then we can go to the online players or offline players or band players. Let's go to online players and let's go to my account. You can see a lot of information. I can also hurt myself, heal myself. I can teleport to the player or I can teleport the player to me. I can see what kind of permissions this player has. I can clear the inventory, reset the blueprints, etc. There's a lot of things I can do and information I can get from a player. Also kicking them, banning them, etc. You can see here, I do not have backpacks installed. I also do not have the inventory viewer plugin installed. If you have this installed, these buttons will also enable. When viewing a player, you can click on the button, watch their inventory and see what kind of things they have. There's a few more things you can add to this, making this a super powerful plugin to see exactly what is going on player-wise. Next up is the admin hammer. It says use the hammer to display info about entities and authorization. So I'm going to do slash admin hammer. And it says you have enabled admin hammer. And then I have to look at something, do slash B. And it gives me information about that entity. So looking at this foundation, it says who it's owned by and also the Steam ID. But depending on what you're looking at, it shows a little bit more information. So if I do slash B on this code, for example, it tells you who placed the code lock. It also tells you who are whitelisted on the list. If you, for example, have a max three group limit and there are more than three people authorized on the code, you know that something fishy is going on. And it even tells you the code one, two, three, four in this case. Let's say you need to investigate a player for whatever reason. Using Vanish, you could fly into their base and then with Admin Hammer get a lot of details about whose sleeping bag is where, who is authorized on what door, for example, to enforce a group limit. Next up is the RAID Tracker. It says, add tracking devices to explosives for detailed RAID logging. This allows you to really quickly see what's going on or see how someone got raided, etc. So I got this wall here. Let's throw some C4 on there. Let's also throw some satchels. Let's go back. Let's go actually for the world longest satchel throw. That should do. <laughs> and then if we stand close to something, we can do slash X. And you can see exactly how many explosives, how many explosions were in the area and also where they were thrown from. So for example, you can see that one was thrown over here. And you can see exactly where it landed, where it exploded, who threw it exactly. In the configuration, you can also change what kind of things it's tracking. In this case, I set it to track for satchels and for C4. And you can see as well the S's for satchels and the C's for C4. Pretty interesting tool. Not something I used that much, but when I did need it, it was really nice to have it. Next up is the copy and paste plugin. Copy and paste buildings to save them or move them. Sounds very simple. You go up to a building, you do slash copy test you walk somewhere else you do slash paste test or whatever name you gave it and it will paste the same building exactly how you copied it but there's a little bit more to the plugin than you think there are a lot of settings you can mess with copy and paste is also compatible with a program called fortify which you can buy on steam for about two or three dollars fortify is a rust based building tool you can build a base and like i said you can use copy and paste go back and forth between fortify and your actual rust server this is quite a deep topic and that's why i made a video on my own channel that link will be in the video description and there i show you exactly how to use the copy and paste plugin to the best of my knowledge let's say you made a central trading area or you have a certain event that you constantly have to put back on your server if you would just build the arena every time which I did in the beginning, you're going to waste so much time. So using the copy and paste, depending on what kind of server you have, can save you a lot of time and hassle. Definitely if you use it in combination with a program like Fortify. And then lastly, we got the admin logger. If you have several admins, this will log exactly what they are doing. It works with several different plugins. For example, the admin radar that I showed earlier. Every time someone turns on the admin radar, it will log it. So you know exactly what your admins are doing. If you know that one of your admins is actually playing on the servers, which sometimes happens, you don't want them to be running around with god mode and admin radar. So looking at my console, this is all the things that have been happening in the background while I was making this video. If I search the logs for admin, there you go. So admin logger, you can see every time I gave myself something, every time I turn on god mode, disable, vanish, no clip. When I used kill on something, so when I killed an entity, you can see everything that I do. 
if you are the only admin it doesn't really make sense to install this so if you don't need it don't install it if you have multiple people definitely get this one so you can keep an eye out on your team if you would like me to go more in depth into one of these plugins you can always leave a comment or a question down below and if this was helpful in any way please leave a like you can join our discord to hang out with other content creators to learn how to grow your online community all our social links will be in the video description thank you for watching and good luck with your tabex store